I don't want it to go. <laughs> I'm not really crying, of course. Um, I will be. I will be. I like after reaction, stop recording. Uh, I can't believe it's ended until October. Um, but yes, this is the ending of Volume Five of Ruby, and I'm sad. I'm sad. I don't want it to end. It's probably been the best rated um, volume, in my opinion. I mean, of course, your opinions might differ. You might think Volume 3 actually isn't the best. No, Volume 4 is actually the best. But uh, it's probably the uh, best volume of Ruby. I mean, you've, I, in my rankings, it's 3, 4, 2, 1. So, and, well, it's now 5, 3, Four, two, one. Uh, it seems, but uh, yeah, it's probably going to be after this. Uh, just the way they've built up uh, Volume Five has just been really, really great, and there has been some interesting episodes. Yes, they've hit a weak spot, but which season or volume of anything doesn't? Okay, uh, because I know a lot of people, including me, were like, "Don't end there, don't end there," or whatever. But um, yeah, I, like I said, Volume Five has just been an incredible journey, and. Here we go. It's another ending. We'll have to wait till October for... I mean, we've got Ruby Chibi, but we'll have to wait till October. And I know, I'm not even sure if I'm going to do a reaction to the first chapter, because I might be going to RTX London. I mean, it's not 100% co confirmed, but it's 99.9% .9 likely that I'm going. Uh, anything could happen. Tickets might run out, and they'll be like... Um, crying. <laughs> And uh, I'm not sure if they did for Volume 4. I know they definitely did for Volume 5, but I'm not sure if they premiered the screening for people who attend RTX London. Um, I'm positive they did for Volume 4, but I don't know, because I wasn't a fan then. It's just crazy. Like, this time last year, I didn't even know what Ruby was. And now I'm about to say goodbye to Volume 5. Crazy how much a difference a year makes. But hello, everyone. It, let's focus on the matters at hand the last episode of Volume 5 for Ruby, Haven's Fate, which doesn't really look like a promising title, does it? But then again, fate could mean a good thing as well, so... But considering how last year we had a kind of happy ending, uh, I know the Nukalabi wasn't really a r happy grim or whatever, but it got what it deserved. Crow survived. It was... a kind of happy ending, of course, with that, uh, with the sweet ending, of course. Considering the last chapter was really positive as well, I mean, the only negative, uh, the only, like, downside was that Vernell passed away, um, after dealing with Cinder, but, like, everything that went on in that episode was, like, a huge yes factor. I'm not really feeling too confident about this, but then again, what's going to happen? I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Hello... I'm not sure if I've introduced myself, but hello everyone, it's Liam Catterson. So, without further ado, let's just delve into chapter 14. It's been a blast. These past 14 weeks have been incredible. So, without further ado, let's go. Good. Keep watching after the credits. Oh, I wonder if that's Genlock. Because, uh, next big ruler. Oh, back to the fairy tale. Show back to the wall, there's nowhere to go. Hopeless and desperate, up past the first. Things looking bleak, yeah, they're bound to get what my voice is back. So I've got to, I got to. I said I would, so. And I'm gonna miss this. Hell was noon, then there's no way to win. All goals are achievable, fate running thin. Last and the line, impossible lines. That's when you learn you can mess with God. Send you a creep, tear up the limb. Striking bolts of lightning, I won't die. The battle seems unwinnable, but all we need to win. We're going up, never be tonight. Can't wish away the dismal days, can bring back what is gone. Won't waste my tears in yesterday. We carry on with the show we will enjoy Though we'll go as far We'll be the ones to touch the sun Triumph will be ours You won't have to be putting up with that every Saturday now <laughs> Oh, But 
I mean, I'm gonna miss this song so much. Casey just did a really good job. Oh boy. Go on, Ilya. Yeah, I... I mean, they see... Yeah, they definitely are screwed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ilya's just like, you had to be the idiot, didn't you? Thank you. I just love the fact that she's been redeemed. I'm going to make oh, you regret boy. ever coming back. More police are on their way, Adam. Huntsman too. You're screwed. <laughs> Still too afraid to face me on your own. Oh. I'm here for Haven, not you. Go on, Blake. Tell. Oh shh. Oh. <laughs> you are still afraid, and you should be. I've made powerful friends while you've been away. Oh, oh yeah. Go on, sort them out, son. Sort them out. Tell me. What? Does Blake make all of her classmates fight for her? Oh yeah, shit! It's a volunteer gig. I'm just saying, for someone who claims to have such great friends, there doesn't seem to be a lot of people here willing to fight for you. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. All your white fang. Mo um. <laughs> And this... You can try and make me regret coming here, Adam. But honestly, I've got more important things to deal with. Exactly. You're uh. not... You're not... Oh. I was gonna say, you're all alone. <laughs> at, le at least these people like Blake. Oh, what a cat. See? You're not... We could take him. You're not exactly fighting no. Blake, are you? We can't. He wants to lure us away so he can pick us off. Mm. We need to protect the school and the people here. Besides, now he can see what it feels like to run away. Exactly. Tell oh, We all need help sometimes. Oh, I love that. Oh, I think that Hazel. People who could use yours. Be careful. But yeah, no Adam, Adam just continue to get on like he was in episode 13. The weak, spineless coward. You guys okay? Come on. <gasps> Surviving. I don't know how that big guy's still standing. I know, what? He's faster than I've ever seen. Uh, he's sheer willpower. I mean, Hazel's like freaking OP. I, I don't even know how his heart's living. still intact. I mean, that dust has got to be affecting something, surely. Oh, Lionheart, you bitch. Oh, no! What? Rip Lancer. Rip oh! Blake! Are you hurt? Love it. No! I just remember you being more of the quiet one. <laughs> oh, we got Team Not Rube. Today. Team Rube. Right. We got Team Rube. What's the plan, Ruby? Oh, did she? <laughs> oh, running like a bitch. You gotta be kidding me. Well, it's Leo. Checkmate. Checkmate. Oh, that yes, checkmate. Oh, I love it. I warned you, Yang. I gave you every opportunity low. to walk away from Crow and Oz. So you can believe me when I say this wasn't personal. Mm. You open the vault. Thanks to the chaos, you yep, and your she's friends the spring maiden. upstairs. I knew you could Surprise. handle it. You're my daughter, after all. Crow and Oz told me how the maiden powers were transferred. The girl you found. She would have had to have trusted you if you were in her final thoughts. Cared about you a lot. Because yeah, that's how the transfer I'm works. I'm sure they told you plenty, it? and you just sat and obeyed. No, I'm starting to ask questions like you said. Yeah. So tell like, me, like Raven of all what people. What happened to the last Spring Maiden? Did she die in battle? Was it sickness? Oh. What does it matter to you? I can already see the answer. It's all over your face. Wait, did she have a? How could you? She was scared she when we found her. Weak. Oh, no she killed. How she much training I put her like, through. Like, what does it matter worked. to you? Oh she shit! Wasn't cut out for this world. 
And with those powers, she would have been hunted her entire life. So what you I did had her killed. Personal. It was mercy. Which is it, Mom? Are you merciful? Oh, shh. Or are you a survivor? Did you let me walk into that trap because you knew I could handle it? Or because it meant you could get what you wanted? It's not that simple. Bitch. I regret you don't know her forgiving you don't know her. What I've been through, the choices I've had to make. You're right. I don't know you. I only know the oh. Raven Dad told me about. She was troubled and complicated, but she fought for what she believed in, whether it was her team or her tribe. You know, you got the ugly truth. Did you kill her too? No. I've stared death in the face over and over again, and every time I've spat in that face, oh, and go because no, I'm strong no. enough to do what others won't. Oh, shut up. Go on, yeah. You know the first thing about strength. You turn your back on people. You run away when things get too hard. You put others in harm's way instead of yourself. Go on, yeah. Just powerful, tell her. But that doesn't make you strong. Oh, wow. Who do you think you are lecturing me? Standing there shaking like a scared little girl. Oh, yeah, um. I'm scared. No. But I'm still standing here. Ex exact, and she's stronger than you'll I'm ever not be. I'm like you. Someone who's I gone through hell. Run. Which is why you're going to give me the relic. Oh. And why would I? Because you're afraid of Salem. And if you thought having maiden powers put a target on your back, imagine what she'll do when she finds out you have a relic. Twice the target, isn't it? She'll so. come after you with everything she has. But Yang's taking this or all for her. For me. Exactly, Yang's taking this all for. Be standing there. But she's so strong. That's the thing. And another reason why I love Yang so much, like she's such a strong character, and she's telling her oh, it like it is me? to Raven. I think nope. she does. What? But I'm gonna do it anyway. She's a strong. Wow. You know what? Barbara's just impressed. Oh? I... I'm sorry. Oh, damn. Yeah. Me too. The truth hurts. I was going to say the truth hurts. She, she really... Hurt Yang saying that but damn I mean she killed the last spring maiden because thinking about Raven is what like just killing you like she will be the last person on your mind if uh, you know she did the deed but that speech by Yang about you know strength it just solidifies how much of it oh is that the Looks, I didn't, I thought it would be like more, and like something else, but yeah, this strength lecture by Yang. I'm, I'm, I was, that's just, that was just incredible. Looks like it, no, it doesn't look, I thought it looked like a teapot, but. It's just give. But, I mean, she got Raven told. Raven needed that lecture, and. You know what? Young of all people who's gone through hell. Oh, shh. And where might you be? No! Oh, your grace! <laughs> I was just looking for something. Some way, uh, something to hide? Do you have something you wish to tell me? It was Cinder. Oh, damn. She altered the plan. Huntsman showed up here. Crow. Several students. You can see the cowardly lying is... White Fang attack. It was exposed so more than ever. I don't know that they'll be able to recover the relic. Your Grace, I can still be of assistance. 
Finally, now I, I can avoid the authorities and come find you. I'll do whatever it takes. Oh, this is a firing, isn't it? Like her deadly firing, isn't it? Because that thing is freaking creepy. Oh! Oh, that was a big no-no. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh! Please, ma'am! Oh, uh, oh no, I don't like where this is going, especially with that there. Oh, shh! Oh, shh! Satan, you... Nope. No. That is horrible. That... Well, not what she... Well, what she did may have been, but... That thing is it's just creepy over. anyways. Sinner will come back. She'll have the relic. And she'll stop all of you. She this... won't let us down. Does someone want to tell Emerald the bad news? Oh. I think Yang might want... Proof is in the pudding. So it does not the holder of, of the relic of knowledge. I believe. Oh, realizations hidden, isn't it? Cinder ain't coming back. <sighs> Thing is, this is gonna affect Emerald. A lot because she followed. Get up, we need to go. Yeah, back the hell off. We won. Emerald. Wait. Oh sh Oh shit. That is nightmare fuel. Oh, they're gone. What was that? An illusion. That was that was an horror. Shit. That was Salem. They got their first glimpse of Salem. Holy shit! So that was nightmare fuel. <laughs> Holy crap though. I mean that was that was the stuff of nightmares. <sighs> Reunion we want. The police rounded up the remaining White Fang members. Haven is safe. Unfortunately, it appears that Adam escaped. Yeah, like the bitch he is, it's but okay. here we are. Arrogance blinded him. He was the only one to escape tonight. Those and he's all alone, so won't support a leader that abandons his people. He won't have their help after this. You could try and brainwash them, can't He'll you? He'll have no one but, at all. Like brainwash people to join his new and the cause, white but thing will be left divided. Exactly. We technically would, even though Adam, well, Adam's weak, it's so time for a new brotherhood, a new family for Fauna's truly working towards you a hope. better world. And they'll need a new leader. <sighs> He's got experience, so. <laughs> Some catching up. Oh! <laughs> Just seeing Yang walking down slowly, like as if she's at a loss. What happened? I don't know exactly. When I got down there, Cinder was gone. And Vernal Cinder was dead. Fall. And Draven? Gone. Well. We're all glad you're still here, Firecracker. Uh, are you okay? I feel like I should be asking you guys. Yeah, especially wise with the... Oh. The Team oh, Ruby! Be... What are you doing here? Team Ruby! I... Team Ruby! Team Ruby! I was gonna ask you three the same thing. Oh, we gotta remember uh, Blake and Yang. Story. 
Well, I've got all I'm night. Not going anywhere. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> so we're all here together, right? Come on, Yang. Come on, Yang. You found your heart to pin down. Yeah. Oh, she's she's welcome. Go. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. This is the reunion I wanted to see. <laughs> oh man. I don't know how, but we did it, Oz. You okay? Wait, is Ospin going? I'm alright. Kid. He's, He's resting. Oh. Too much energy fighting. Yeah, it's gonna drain you. Oh, I hey, thought he was dis disappearing. Yourself. No. He had a message. Oh. We must get the lab to Atlas. <laughs> Atlas. Oh, sh are we going to Atlas next? The lantern. Is that the next relic? Are we, are we going to, oh, yes. Oh, winter is, please, please. Oh, wow. Oh, that's it. Holy crap, what an episode. What a way to end, I mean, I will admit, oh. Of course, I'm sticking around for the after credit scene, but I just want to listen to the music as well because I want to see if it matches to the power of Armed and Ready, which is like one of my favorites. But yeah, that was. I thought it was a bit um, tame out of all of. Uh, well, I wouldn't say it out of all finales. But comparing to Volume 4 or Volume. Well, Volume 3, you take that out of the window because that was traumatic, but it was a bit tame, but it had so, so much power anyways. Don't worry, I'm not, uh, I'll, I'm still able to listen to this, it's, yeah. But, um, it had so much power still, like the Yang Raven discussion, which was mighty, the fact that she lectured Raven about, you know, how she is weak, um, compared to Yang, who's so strong, who's gone through that trauma of losing an arm, but in Volume 5, we've seen her recover like hell. I mean, Volume 4 is understandable because anyone would be traumatized, no matter how strong you are about losing an arm, probably. Unless you're, I don't know. Unless you're nuts. <laughs> but yeah, Yang... Yang's just continuing to, like, show why she's one of my favorite characters. Especially the performance that Barbara gave off, like... I've always loved her performances, like, uh, in this show, and I definitely felt that like Fallen 5 was, like, a big push for her, but that final confrontation was just really great, and the fact that Raven got affected by her, by the truth that she came up with, brilliant stuff. But, yeah, that was, that was a, that was a neat finale, that was a neat finale, it wasn't uh, as, I don't know, too major, I guess, as Volume 4, like I said, but there were still some great things, like Ruby finally, uh, Team Ruby got introduced to Salem, which was freaking scary as shit. <laughs> Def I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna be having nightmares. If I have nightmares tonight, Rooster Teeth, I'm holding you liable. <laughs> um, yeah, they got introduced, Leo got killed off in brutal fashion. I've always thought that Grim was always terrifying, and we finally got to find out it's like terrifying tentacles, which is not cool. Ooh. Um, like like that confrontation, like I've said, but um, yeah, like I said, that was a that was an epic for, um, confrontation. But I've really I'm go I've really enjoyed this volume. It it was a fantastic volume. People are probably going to be 
<laughs> commenting, why are you talking about the music? I'm listening, I can listen to it. I don't think it has the same beat as Armed and Ready. Like, the same flavour, but it's still pretty sick to listen to. I've just also thought, like... The next Ruby episode, apart from Ruby Chibi, which starts next week, of course. Um, but in the timeline of Ruby, the next Ruby episode, I might be watching at RTX. Because there's a 99% likelihood that I'm going. I mean, the tickets between me and uh, Torture Boy might uh, be sold out, but probably not. Um, for those who don't know, I'm potentially attending RTX. London in October, and they aired Volume 5's um, premiere at the start. Uh, Volume 5's premiere there. I'm not sure if they did the same for Volume 4, but it's a likelihood. Ty! Ty! Raven was there. God damn it, Raven. Oh, is this. Is this Genlock? Are you running an op? Oh, you said to go to field trials. I didn't say to drop him in the middle of a city. As soon as they figure out what he is, they will come hunting. For really? him and for you. Given what we're seeing here, I believe you can stop worrying about Chase as much. No. No, I think I'll keep worrying about him a little longer. How's he holding up? Still adjusting. Oh, is this, uh, who are they talking about? Julian we Chase? Adrian Chase. Uh, he wasn't, but... What about <laughs> They're talking about Chase. It's Prometheus! There are some new possibilities, but we may need to uh, get more flexible on the subject. Wait, these are the only matches? They'll have to do, won't they? Mm -hmm. I don't the think I'm looks to interesting. Oh, don't give up hope yet. Is that the guy who played Malcolm Hargrove in Red vs. Blue? I'm interested. I might react to it because I know this is the uh, next big ruler for Rooster Teeth, but... That was epic. So, Ruby's gone! Ruby's gone. And I'm assuming Volume 6 we're going to have Atlas. Yep, we're going there. We're going there. I mean, the deal uh, at um, Haven is complete. Lionheart's dead. Uh, we've got the spring. Uh, we've, got the, uh, we've got the Relic of Knowledge. Of course. So now it's on to Atlas. And, uh, yeah, that was a really interesting finale. It wasn't massive. Like, I felt... Uh, it was probably, I mean, you're counting, I don't know if I should count Volume 1 and 2. Uh, well, definitely, okay. Well, I, I can count them in, but I do feel it was probably the least action-packed, I guess. Uh, considering Volume, we all know what happened with Volume 3. Uh, volume 4, we had that Nugalavi fight, of course. Um, after Episode 11, we were like, oh, shh. Um, Volume 2 was just amazing, and uh, I've, uh, Volume 1 was just things getting started, but of course we had a fight there, but it was the least, I, I guess it was the least, I don't know, throw you into the action, but there was still some, like, crazy stuff happening, especially the hallucination of Salem, like, holy crap, that's gonna give you night. like, I'm probably gonna have nightmares of that, definitely. But, um, at least the team have got to encounter who Salem... To be fair, Blake doesn't even know what the deal is with this Salem. Um, whereas everyone else has had the, had this kind of lecture about who Salem is, what she could possess. Whereas Blake's been out of it with Menagerie, and uh, she, she, yeah. First of all, who is Salem? <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a re it was still a really really great finale. Don't get me wrong, and uh, um, yeah. I, I, I felt it was... I, I think with everything that went on, I think it was a fitting conclusion, considering that this is the best uh, we're probably going to get, maybe, of the um, attacks on Blank or whatever, or 
anything to do with like one of the major places getting um, like being in peril because of course Beacon was a travesty but this was a more and I'm not sh like I have a feeling that uh, Salem will be a bit more successful the next time out um, considering like they don't know where the Beacon Relic is and now that the team, um, like, Yang retrieved the Relic of Knowledge. So, maybe they'll be lucky next time out. I'm not sure. Because we've got to push the villains, definitely. Um, and I think that's what's going to happen. Especially with them getting a right pounding in um, episode 13 with Cinder falling. If she might come back, but we'll never know. Um... Yeah, with Cinder falling, with um, Adam basically defenseless, all on his own, all that kind of crap. Um, yeah, the villains just took a right pounding in these episodes, and it didn't really go swimmingly for them, so maybe um, next time out they'll be a bit more successful. The young discussion with Raven, though, holy crap, and this is, I just loved, but, I mean, she's had a few standout performances this year, but Barbara was just freaking incredible. Like, it was a really... Like, especially when she um, gave that lecture about what what does Raven know about strength. And it's just really great, because you've got Yang, who's such a hardened, really, really strong character. Like, she's gone through that hell. She, uh, like, she had her arm sliced off, and she's still super, super strong. Like, sh like she... She is what she does, like, she, uh, what she is, basically, what her mother couldn't be, is what she's saying. And, like, the fact that she killed the last Spring Maiden, god damn it, I, I regret what I said about Raven, I forgive you. Raven, I don't forgive you, it was an April Fool's joke, okay? Um, yeah, she's just, she's just selfish, and I can't really blame Yang for giving her that lecture. I mean, what Raven did might be the, be the best thing to protect the power from Salem. Um, but there could have been more merciful r ways, probably. I don't know. Well, there probably would be. But she's just resorting to what uh, any means necessary kind of thing. And Yang's... Uh, through all the crap that Raven's put Yang through... Uh, with Ty uh, as well, it was, you know, that that lecture was called for, and I really loved Yang's passionate speech there. It was really beautiful, and like I said, Barbara did a freaking incredible job. And now Raven kind of uh, picked it up because she had that little cry. Uh, of course, she's kind of picked it up. To be fair, and in a sense, she knows that. That Yang's right, and she is. She definitely is. She, she like she's a wise character. She's strong. She's been through hell, and she's a like I said, she's still strong to this day. It's been. I mean, of course, with Volume Four's arc, anyone's going to feel like probably a bit um, weakened at sort of traumatic incident. But she comes out stronger, and I just I just really love that about you. like. That lecture that Yang gave at the very end, one of my reasons why I love Yang so much. Like, like she's just a really fantastically developed and voiced character. Um, but yeah, that was really, really great. Leo. <laughs> um, basically dying as he lived. Being a bitch. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was really, really... Like... That thing was really, really, um, that grim was really, really terrifying anyways. But to see it go out in action, um, even though we didn't really see his, I mean, that would be a bit too far-fetched probably for, like, Ruby to, um, want to do. But seeing what it was capable of, ugh. um, yeah, I'm, I'm wondering what's going to become of Adam since he's basically defenseless. I mean, he could try and brainwash people, manipulate them into uh, a new cause, but just, I don't know, just, if I was Blake, just send out a message saying, this guy is a complete bitch, don't side with him. 
Um, but yeah, it's it's just going to be interesting with everything going on with Atlas, with uh, now Team Ruby are back together, which was really good. I love that, especially with that discussion in Episode 9, I believe it was, um, with uh, Weiss about Blake. I just loved uh, Yang's reaction to accepting Blake. It was just really, really beautiful to see. But that was a really uh, great finale, definitely. Especially the Yang and Raven confrontation. Like I said, Yang just nailed it. And it's like coming out with truth bombs, with brutal honesty. Like, like I just loved her so much. She's She's... Definitely been the MVP, uh, MVP character of this season, in my opinion. Just with uh, that episode four, with her encounters with Rave, like just everything that's gone on with Yang's uh, case this season has just been a really, really incredible journey. But yes, that was Volume Five of Ruby. I, I definitely can't wait to see how uh, Volume Six proceeds, and it's gonna. Ugh. I'm going to miss Saturday. I like doing this on Saturdays now. But it was a great finale. Loved it. And, uh, yeah, onwards to Volume 6. Of course, Ruby Chibi's next week, which is starting with Season 3. Can't wait to see what kind of shenanigans are there. But until October, we're closing the book on Ruby. So I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my playlist for all the Ruby reactions in case you missed any. Um, I've got that on the playlist. You can also check my videos and subscribe to my media feeds if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!